Okay, we've all been there. We try to make a quick fix on our bike only to make it worse and end up costing us more money. Now that's painful, but that's not the type of painful I'm talking about today. I'm talking about the kind of mistake that leaves you jumping around in agony, probably saying a few words that I can't repeat in this video. So first up, the knuckle shaver. It's a classic, these horrible chain ring teeth have a habit of finding themselves in your knuckles. And if you've managed to avoid it until now, well, you're very lucky. But if you have done it before, you're probably not gonna be rushing to do it again. The most common cause is when you're trying to remove your pedals and it tends to be in desperate times when the pedals just won't release or you're in a rush perhaps. And it happens when you position the spanner above the chain rings. And you're probably gonna have mixed emotions when you do actually land your knuckles in the chain rings. Because on one hand, you will have just released your pedals. But then on the other hand, well actually the same hand, you will have just taken a chunk of skin out of your knuckles. So to avoid it, I'd suggest putting your chain into the outer ring so that then the teeth are actually covered. And then rotate the pedals around to the base and place a spanner in like so. Frayed cables. Now these cable end caps not only make the cables look neater, they also save us a ton of pain. Now if you lose the cable end caps off the end of the cable, the cables can end up fraying or they can even break part way along and they turn the cable into some kind of wolverine claw. And similar to the chain rings, they have a habit of finding our skin. And they may look fine and maybe not that painful, but trust me, they can even make grown men feel very sorry for themselves. So if you do end up losing the cable ends, I suggest trying to replace them as soon as possible and they are very cheap after all. Fingers in spokes. This is making me squeamish just thinking about it. Landing your fingers in the spokes of a spinning wheel. Yeah, enough said. And fortunately, it's something I haven't done, but I know plenty of people that have. And when you're intensely concentrating on the alignment of your gears and the fine adjustments, you can forget that the wheel is spinning and just how close your fingers are getting to the spokes. And in most cases, it's just a quick glance, but it's enough to hurt. So my suggestion is make sure that the wheel stops spinning when you make adjustments to your gears. Missing things with a hammer. Now it's rare we suggest taking a hammer to your bike. In fact, just don't. But there's some things that need a delicate tap. And because you're being so careful, you tend to have your hands close to the object that needs hammering and you miss and hit your hand. Yet yeah, we've all seen the cartoons. It's not pleasant, don't do it. Tearing your hair out looking for things you dropped on the floor. You're carefully unscrewing a bolt and then it falls on the floor. Brilliant. Now I'd hate to add up the amount of time that I've spent tearing my hair out looking for things that I've dropped on the floor. And I can tell you, black floors seem to be particularly bad for it. Now my worst experience was losing a rather specific bolt for my seat clamp just the day before I flew out to a pretty big race. I never did find that bolt. Now my tip would be not only to remove the parts and bolts carefully, but then to place them into something that's gonna prevent them from rolling away. Now they're just a few of the painful mistakes you can make whilst you're maintaining your bike, but we'd love to hear some of yours, providing they're not too bad. Um, and if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos from GTN, just click on the globe to subscribe. And if you want to see another maintenance video on how to remove and replace your cassette, you can click down here. And to see how to ride in the wind, just click down here.